back again with another interesting video. So I say, Najumi is so here, Nikyo Shaku, but I'm back in Nairobi. So today I came to visit the Miller's Hospital, Papa Kagemi. So there are different types of family planning. So after Tukisha Maliza Hapa, Dr. Papa Daktari, Mwene Apo, then I talk about Zia, and I'm going to get into another life as well. I'm going to do it now, and I'm going to do it as well. So I'm going to do it as well. So I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to do it as well. So it depends if you have kids or you don't have kids. There's hormonal family planning, there's non-hormonal. If I told you uh, given which family type of family planning I, maybe? I was given depo. Depo. Yeah. Mm, depo is a hormonal family planning. Mm. And if you are bleeding in maybe in between before your period, you call it maybe hormonal imbalance. It can it, it interferes with your hormones because it's hormonal, mostly. There's other family planning you can do this. It's non-hormonal, it's called COIL. It's the, it's the best for you. Coil. It can't interfere with your hormones. It's okay. Yeah. So, Doc, let me just take you back a bit. Mm -hmm. Just tell us what is the before for the one that I was given. What's the for there? It's called Depoprofera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So, if you use the you can end up with the or maybe if you use it at the time you are getting pregnant, maybe you end up giving birth to an abnormal child. Okay. Yeah. So, what is the reason for the Yeah, yeah. So, what is the reason for the Yeah, yeah. So, what is the reason for the Yeah, yeah. So, what is the reason for the Yeah, yeah. So, what is the reason for the Yeah, yeah. So, 
you must have maybe one or two kids before you see this family planning like Nepo, like this, this, it's called three months, those implant, those implant, before you use them, make sure maybe you have one or two kids. But the safest family planning now, it's coil. Coil. It, it can't interfere the whole months. So, in short, you are telling, you are saying that Nepo, it has some side effects. Yeah, it has some side effects. So tell us the side effects. Side effect as the one you have told me, mm -hmm. that that men it's called menorrhagia. Mm -hmm. At times it can give you a menorrhea, mm, like that one. Okay. Mm. So is it as advisable for a sixteen-year-old girl to start using family planning? Is it as advisable? Because there are some teenagers out out here who are engaged in sexual, you know, and so they are afraid of starting engaging themselves into the habit. Yeah, maybe, so, yeah. maybe I can encourage them to, to abstain or use protection like condom. Okay. I don't encourage them to use family planning at 16 years. Okay, yeah. so it is not advisable for yeah. Okay, so what Maybe. age is it advisable for one to start using family planning? Okay, almost uh, as I earlier have told you, it interferes with the hormones. At times, somebody may use that family planning, but I will go get after total cause. Do you see? Mm -hmm. uh, because it interferes with that hormone. So, at teenagers, mostly we encourage them to use something like condom, uh, like abstinence. Because when you encourage them like family planning at 16 years, there is other diseases they can do get, like STIs. So the safest for 16, mm -hmm. they are they just drop stain or use protection. Mm -hmm. mm. It's okay. Mm. So 16 years old girls out there, if you are trying to use family planning at that age, can you abstain? Just use, just use condoms at, at uh, that time, okay? Don't involve yourself into family planning at that age. It's risky for your age. They're so dark. Anything else you can advise concerning family planning to people outside there? Mm. Anything you can tell them about family planning? Because there are so myths being told outside here concerning family planning. So maybe... Myths like what? Maybe you can give me that for a Like, the maybe does family planning cause cancer? It doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. There are so many people's idea that says if someone is using family planning, he or he, she might end up getting cancer. Actually, you know? it doesn't cause any cancer. Like, okay. Mm. It's a big dog. I'm happy to have you. I'm happy to give you space so that I can. Talk about family planning. It's my pleasure meeting you. Okay. So, once yeah, I'm humbled. Okay. So, guys, we've come to the end of the video. As the doctor has said, family planning doesn't cause cancer. Anyone who is uh, not yet, anyone below, let me just say below 18 years of age, is not advisable to use family planning because she might end up just damaging her body cells so you are advisable to just use condoms at the moment so guys that was is it advisable for someone to go get the injection or depot but to the clinic store someone should come and get the assistant at the hospital first okay it's not advisable to get that in over the counter because you need consultation from a doctor before you are given that many depot or any other family planning okay. because there is contraindications and indications of giving the that family planning okay. yeah. at times when you have high pp you want to be given that depot and they are the chemist yeah but at times when the chemist will get someone giving you without even taking yeah, the blood yeah, pressure so 
this contraindication and indication and a, ke a chemist guy won't maybe explain to you such. And the other thing, there are some myths outside here saying that maybe someone was given depo then apparently she 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 got pregnant. Is it true that you can be injected depo then you get pregnant? Uh, maybe that depo if it, before you are given this instruction given. Uh, first instruction you you maybe you won't have sex before 24 hours one of the instruction but maybe you check expiry before you give that medication of which chemist guy even they don't follow that yeah. one times yeah mm. you are given maybe expired depot maybe you are, they even they they won't give you instruction maybe Six after twenty four hours, whatever. Yeah, they, so, they, yeah, yeah, they just inject and leave you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, dog, dog. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy. Right. So, you guys, that was for today. So, see you next time, guys. Bye bye, guys. When you are ready, Bye bye. Bye bye.